So this is recording now, a special edition of, uh, let's just mute that other microphone so there's no issues. Okay, so there's just the one issue here in my headset. Um, printer problems, again, HP printer. Uh, I, I did all the things I needed to do to print today, and it was just giving me no reading at all on my black ink cartridge. So I swapped it out, and when I swapped it out, I got this message here, this message which says the following ink cartridges appear to be missing or damaged. And it's the black. The black is always the problem. And uh, I was going to fix this problem, of course, but it's a couple things in the way. So this is how you uh, swap cartridges out when this is all done. But this is a brand new cartridge and you can't see it. But there's an issue right down in here. You could probably see it if you zoom way in. Um, so there are four little pins right here. And this one keeps popping down. I just popped it back into place. Right? And it is. Uh, there's clearly no cartridge there. There's nothing going on. And there's no ink being drawn into that sensor. I've got three brand new cartridges. Well, one of them's down here has been used for a bit, but these two are brand new. The chips are there. Everything is there on them. The problem here is that the machine doesn't want to recognize the fact that there's a cartridge there. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this off. Just going to power it down completely. And leave it that way for about a minute while we talk about these fucking ink cartridges. Now, I have read all the documentation i have purchased proper ink i've got a whole box of ink here compatible cartridges everything is fine and that little pin issue is a problem because you see here when you turn the power off you can't actually put something in it's uh it just it seats itself back under there so when I open this up, it's going to give me the same message again, that there's an ink cartridge missing or broken or defective. Uh, and that's just ridiculous because I just did a thing, right? I just printed this son of a bitch out here, which shows that uh, I clearly did not install that cartridge in 2016. That didn't happen. That might be the last time it remembers there being a cartridge installed. But all of these cartridges have been replaced as we, frequently as today. In fact, the Magenta and Cyan, I replaced them half an hour ago. Today is the 16th of June, not the 11th of June. So it is, the, the printer has been served me very well for a very long time, except for all these times when it just fucks up. In fact, you see here, uh, pages printed, 1,703. Most of those have been photos meaning I'm using a lot of ink. And it is just annoying to me that this thing has so many problems. So that's about a minute of time. Yeah, a minute of time. So I'm going to turn it back on. It's going to give me this error message again. I've got the, the HP app up. You know, I've got a couple different HP apps up, in fact. Let's uh, let's turn on another HP app, just because we can. Oh, look, an error message. The error says, Ink cartridge access door is open. Ha-ha! So, that is a better one than we had before. So, I've got all four of these contacts here they're all good i've got a brand new ink cartridge with a brand new chip all the contacts are good there i'm going to insert this thing properly you hear it snap it's hooked in same thing happens with these right you put the thing in it finds the hole back in there if it snaps into place it's good Gonna lower that, and immediately it says, hey, you don't have an ink cartridge. And there's no way to get off this error message. None. Like, very briefly, I had one 
uh, pop loose and uh, I thought I'd be able to print something but no right back to here right back to the same piece of crap area and this uh, this is annoying because I have done all the steps that are necessary to do this absent a complete and full cleaning of the machine the scanner works everything works except for now having I have just printed four things right I printed out new new Kate new covers for these guys and the color was a little off on these so I wanted to make sure that I had uh, the proper amounts and uh, of things are oh, yeah and look at these these are fine lots of black in that one lots of magenta cyan there you know I've got good images out of here it's just that when you want to go and do something actually do something we got a problem so I'm gonna turn this off again wait another minute and see what happens oh I don't know I don't give a shit about Adobe Flash Player close yeah this is annoying so annoying I'm gonna pop over here to camera yeah so uh, stick that text off of there. You don't need to see that text right now. All right, so here is the HP app. It clearly says, although you can't probably see it there, that uh, there's ink. All these things are fine in ink, and then boom, black ink cartridge missing or damaged, right? It's ridiculous. It's not missing. It's not damaged. It's right there. And so I don't know... I don't know what to do. I mean, I could buy a whole new carriage for this thing. The printer still works. It's just that it's not recognizing my ink. And even when I'm using HP cartridges, like there's an HP cartridge in there right now for the photo black, and it says, hey, you don't have an HP cartridge. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to turn this back on again, and we're going to hope for the best. And I printed seven or eight pages today. No problems at all until I went to change the ink. And now here we are with... Uh, ink problems. I don't want to have ink problems. I want to have a printer. I just want the damn thing to work. You know, it's not too much to ask. I don't want to buy another printer, but I will. See, none of these buttons, none of these buttons will work because it thinks that there's a The only button that works is the power button. I can't uh, restart it or reset it from over here. I can't do anything. It's just annoying as all hell. Yeah, I know there's a cartridge problem. Thanks, HP. I don't want to get Flash Player for Internet Explorer. I don't even want to use Internet Explorer. But it won't open the HP Solution Center until I do. I see a bunch of more a whole bunch more problems. Oh, and look at this. Here's the best part. Uh, Adobe no longer supports Flash Player, so the fact that my decade-old software requires it means that uh, that's another nail in HP's coffin here. Maybe I'll be able to do this. Maybe I can just run a diagnostic straight from the computer. Because it knows that I've got a printer. It sees the printer. The printer is online, which is, you know, a huge step forward from where we usually end up being. Run that diagnostic. The device is busy. Oh, it's busy because it's a piece of shit. That's why. Let's turn off the cartridge chip intro. What else are we going to do? What else can we do here? Can 
clicking the refresh button here a couple times. It, it's not going away and uh, I bet you if I pop this thing open pop that cartridge out that little pin will be bent again look at that pins bent little pin right here it's bent Now the rest of these are busted like this. They'll all pop back into place as intended. So I'm going to bend it a little bit with my second favorite tool in the universe here, hoping for the best. I mean, my best situation would be for this guy to pop out so I could fix it, but. I don't think that's going to pop out anytime soon. Yeah. All right. Try this again. I'm going to put this in. Very gently tap it down. It clicked into place. It should be good. Yeah, that whole, that whole assembly is just busted. I've been printing too long for too many things. So... For want of a teeny tiny little pin, the entire thing has to be uh, thrown away. Now I have another printer out in the garage. It's another. It's not a scanner like this one is, but it's uh, it's another printer, a laser printer, with uh, use photos with this little weird wax toner sort of thing. Uh, but it doesn't do what this does, so that's annoying in the extreme to me. So I just typed HP PhotoSmart here. So to get some, oh, of course the uh, the one that's the best replacement here is uh, eight hundred dollars. I'm not paying eight hundred dollars. I'm not paying two hundred thirty dollars or a thousand dollars. Trying to look up the printer itself instead of just the ink here. Where's that one? Yeah, that's the one. Two hundred seventy dollars to buy it used, to buy the exact one I have there used. Consider this alternative item. I'll pop this thing up here so you can see it. So it wants me to buy this one instead, which is wireless and it has a top feed scanner, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, a simplified power cord made from recycled stuff. Huh. Yeah, HP Instant Ink. So the ink here is interesting. What do we got here? Yeah, this is just a pain in the ass. I can get it renewed for $100. So for $100, I can have a brand new printer in here next week, which doesn't do me a damn bit of good today. Uh, it's annoying. But it's where we are. So that's 15 minutes of my nightmare universe. 
Thank you for paying attention. I am the idiot with the microphone, Scott James Magner. Let me pop that thing up here. Turn off the display capture, turn on me. Oh, there I am. I need to eat with a microphone. And uh, I'm having a bad day. We'll see if it gets any better. But you have a good day. Thank you for playing.